yeah once if you complete all these then the next topics are bean life cycle implementations container one more feature container can manage bean life cycles so we have to know how to manage bean life cycles bean life cycles yeah I'll write code here. Yes. So if a class, if it contains any array types, primitive type arrays, string array of names, and if you have some secondary type arrays here if you have any secondary type arrays like if test class if it contains yeah, let's say if it is car class and if it is contain car names array of car names and array of engines Clear packages here. Yeah. You need to have setter and getter scared. You need to have setters. Generate setters and getters. Then main root tag is beans. And create first engine class object. How many engines we required? Here we need to pass array of engines. So create multiple engine objects. Bean ID E1. Class name beans dot engine class. Property name model year. We required multiple engines, so create multiple engine objects here. And these engines they need to have unique IDs. Same ID we should not repeat again and again. Okay. So maintain unique IDs here. And this multiple engines, if you want to inject into a car, create car class object. Class name beans dot car. Then in this car, how many dependencies we have? Two dependencies, car names and array of engines. So array of names, if you want to pass, then what we have to use here? Property, property name, car names. That array of names we can pass by using list and list. In between this list and list, you can use any number of values
and one more setter method property name engines that engines type is secondary type so for secondary type also you can use same list and list but in between list and list what we have to use in between list and list you can use here reference bin reference bin e1 e2 e3 all engine references you can pass yeah array type dependency injection array dependency injection and add dependent libraries ioc jars add library user library select ioc yeah and create classes generate set us here set car name set engine and write one method here public void print car data print array of car names for each string for each string car iterate car names jdk5 onwards only we have for each right so change compiler version jdk7 and for each engine it right engines and print that engine model yes e dot in engine we need to have a getter method and one setter method set model here and get model here yeah call that getter method here yeah then create resource keep this xml file but xml file must it need to contain dtd or schema is compulsory so you need to place dtd on top of main root tag if it is a dtd on top of root tag you can place so get dtd keep it here then test it so yeah here j2w container application context and the implementation is class path xml application context load resources reference and ap dot get bin of get car then c dot print car data method <coughs> run this
property exception invalid property engines yeah actually the dependent parameter name is engine but here we are using engines test it okay cars and model years these model years we are getting through secondary type dependency injection and these are primitive type dependent injection parameters okay so in this way you can inject array types and if you want to inject collections defaults first i'll show you default collection dependency injection default collection dependency injection and jdk compatible yeah compiler version 1.7 create a class with collection type dependency injections uh, yeah collection type dependencies first go through this interfaces list list of fruits private set of cricketers private map of countries and capitals and generate getters yeah setters set of fruits set of cricketers and map countries and capitals and print all these data here by writing one method public void print data yeah print here print first fruits data iterate that fruits into object type object value we can iterate fruits into fruit type and print that fruit value and next iterate cricketers for each object cricketer iterate cricketers and the next countries and capitals so for this map we can't able to use for each so first you just get keys cc dot how to get keys by using key set method we can get set of keys so first it read this keys here for each object key you just iterate keys and then for each key you just get value country is key and value is capital so by using this key how to get value cc dot get of same key then it will print values then inject this data list to data set to data and map data through xml file by using simple dtd based configurations <coughs> bean bean id t class name 
test class and here we have three setter methods set fruit set cricketers set countries and capitals call that three setter methods First property will accept list type. So that list of values you can pass simple values or secondary types. Into list we can pass anything, right? So you can pass anything here. You can pass any number of values. And into cricketers, you can pass set of values here by using set and set value. And here duplicates are not allowed. In this set case, if you pass any duplicate value, it is not a possible to pass. Actually, it will not accept. You can pass here, but while adding, it will not add to set. And for map, you can use simple map. In between map and map, what we have to use? Entry. Entry key and value we can configure. Yeah, tell me two countries and capitals. India. It's okay, Delhi. And 